So, got that working. Where this is a junkyard little trim piece for the door jam area, and I've got some of the screws broke loose to basically get them out, so I can use that to put it in that. And there we go. Another thing, I'm not losing my mind. It's just going to be a bunch of tin foil all in there. You can still see the haze from where I've been welding on it. So the aluminum doesn't really do anything with welding. So it just keeps everything from catching on fire and kind of keeps it from, well, getting onto any of my actual interior. So I'm welding on this random nut that I think came off my pacer or whatever. And hopefully I can use my ratchet over there, get on it, force it to break loose, and then put a new bolt in that will actually hold my armrest since a friend of mine's buying the truck and he's cool with just putting a seat cover on, well, the interior. So, yeah, hopefully you'll have a few more clips. So, see ya. So, my old water bottle, you should have mentioned, that was just an emergency fire extinguisher. So yeah, this is welded on and I already got it to break loose. It's a Christmas miracle in, oh yeah, it's still October, not, not like November yet. So yeah, I can finally fix the armrest and all that other fun stuff in here. A crummy bolt. Boo. Well, it didn't break. Yes. around 900 and what is that, almost 912 miles on this there's a little sunset going on over there and I'm just heading into town to get something to eat but that was kind of cool to reminisce on that I've almost put a thousand on here and I was just taking it for a test drive I had to sh fix the shock mount I fixed previously it broke loose probably from me loading it with 600 pounds of stone a few times I don't know why I just felt like it and then just some other things so Got that fixed. One of the exhaust hangers I found further back behind the rear wheel was busted, so I fixed that. And our press is, well, it's worked pretty good. <laughs> so, gotta probably cut from here and get some food now. So, got friends and family over. Behold, the mess of my basement. You don't get to see this very often. Quick thing, this is the end of the X mod. So, vintage 80s remote. I managed to piece it together and make an adapter to make it run off of a 9 volt. You probably have a clip of that somewhere else in the video. We've got the board fitting under the body. Other than I might move the board to the side where the battery's at and the battery up here before my friend picks up the Ranger and subsequently the X mod tonight. However, I get to show you it works. So, we have that, and we have this. Yes! So it's a little hard to drive with one hand, especially with the weird setup, because there's my throttle way below this. So we're going to use my foot. Nor the sock, I was in the garage. Yes! Ah! So yeah, I'm going to say that's a well, success. There was something I forgot about that ranger. I don't know what it was. Oh, that. You ever want to go on It's like that.
Thanks for watching. I'll bring you guys along for the next week we fix up for the road.